before anything like this, I normally uh, change tires. Um, just make sure, you know, if you're not changing the tires, make sure that they're in good condition. Check for wear. You know, really the sort of key essentials to an event like this after you put in months of training is uh, make sure that your equipment's in good working order. So if it means you've got to take it to uh, a bike shop to, to get a once over, you know, I change brake pads. Uh, make sure that your wheels are nice and true and obviously in good condition, um, you know, no, no play in the hubs. But, you know, maybe uh, you can change cables, um, make sure everything's running and, you know, these are such quick fixes, uh, real nice and small, they're not particularly cost, uh, costly. Certainly the cost of a trip like this is, um, is quite a lot anyway, so the little pieces which, which hopefully make the day go better are always worth um, bearing in mind. I'm running actually, I really like a compact chain set, so uh, that's a 3450. Um, and it's always worked well. I prefer to keep my, my cadence as high as possible on the climb, so I don't like to be sort of really grinding and struggling. Um, I much prefer to, to try and keep the gears spinning, so a 3450 works well. On the back today, I've got uh, up to a 25 sprocket. Um, it's actually 11 speed, so the ratio is really kind. Uh, it means there's no big gaps between each, each of the sprockets. Um, but you know, definitely look at your gearing in advance. I think it's a major, probably one of the most major points on the bike to, uh, to consider prior to, to riding in the mountains. You know, if you need to fit a 28, 30 or more, um, then you know, I'd absolutely recommend it. It's, uh, you know, it's, not a, it's not about sort of pushing a big gear and, and, and coming across as you know, manly and, and you know, it's just about actually getting over the climbs in the best possible shape. So. Um, you know, if you're used to riding, if you don't have the mountains back home, if you're used to riding on the flat, then definitely um, have a look at your gearing beforehand. And if you, you get the chance to do some recons, then find out what works best for you and, and, and you know, adjust it accordingly.